With Yellowstone's success, it didn't come as a surprise that the beloved neo-western series bore more than a few spin-offs. One of them is 1883. But from what we've heard, 1883's season 2 might end, but the story will continue. How does the creator intend to push through with the series development? Find out more in today's video, so keep on watching to know more about the future of this series. First up, fans eagerly await if 1883, the prequel to Yellowstone, will be greenlit for a second season. 1883 is a prologue to Sheridan's Yellowstone, and it follows the Duttons on their quest to buy the acreage that would become the Yellowstone Ranch. The 10-episode series came to an end on February 27, 2022. The status of the future season's renewal is unknown, however, we'd like more. In the fourth season of Yellowstone, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill reprise their roles as James and Margaret Dutton in flashbacks. In the meantime, what else could we look forward to in the show? The show 1883 is classified as a limited series, and the first season concludes includes the whole plot arc, but then something unexpected happened. We believe the show had ended, but it appears that there will be more episodes. 1883 creator and writer Taylor Sheridan told an outlet that they intended to make a 10-hour movie that finished, and that's exactly what they did, according to the creators and the streaming site. As a storyteller, it feels closed-ended, Sheridan remarked. I'm going to peek through a window of a different era and see what I see. Actor Tim McGraw expressed his uncertainty about the future, saying that they just don't know and are sort of in limbo like everyone else. Regardless of how he feels, McGraw is thrilled for what's to come and what show creator Taylor Sheridan has written, and he can't wait to watch how it grows. So, does this mean 1883 won't be having a second season? Executive producer David Glasser of 1883 and Yellowstone told the audience that there would be no second season. However, the story will very certainly continue. As previously said, limited series do not receive a second season, although the story's continuation is intriguing. If you're a fan of the Dutton family and the saga bringing you to the current day, portrayed in Yellowstone, what will come is that continuing saga, Glasser said. He also just announced another prequel series, 1932, and said it's fine to think of the prequels as an anthology series, even though he declined to elaborate on how the story will progress. Hopefully, it turns out to be an anthology program that will be entertaining to watch as part of the Yellowstone universe. Even Taylor Sheridan teased details about this other prequel, saying it's a peek through a different window into a different era. He also firmly stated that he doesn't look at these projects as spin-offs, but rather as complete stories that share a common root. He concluded his statement by saying that his goal with the next series is that the audience would have a fully realized experience as a viewer despite not having yet seen Yellowstone nor 1883. Now it's time to celebrate, since the Yellowstone franchise will be releasing a series focusing on Bass Reeves. After seeing how Kevin Costner's John Dutton's great-great-grandfather James Dutton, played by Tim McGraw, made the journey from Tennessee Tennessee to Montana in the Yellowstone prequel 1883, many were heartbroken to see that it was Elsa's death that landed the fabled greatest frontier hero in another project. Even though 1883 was going to be a limited series with 10 hour-long episodes and Bass Reeves was supposed to be a distinct show, new ideas were recently announced. 1883, the Bass Reeves story, is the result of combining the titles. The new drama starring actor David Oyelowo is being billed as an offshoot of 1883. Knowing that it's a spin-off off of a spin-off, when will 1883 The Bass Reeves Story premiere? The premiere date for 1883 The Bass Reeves Story is yet to be set, however, the project is only marked as announced on David's IMDb page, implying that it has not yet begun production. Once we have more information, we'll update this post. So, what will be the storyline of this spin-off? The influence Bass Reeves had in the Wild West as the first black deputy marshal will be highlighted in 1883 The Bass Reeves Story. He was born enslaved in Arkansas in 1938 and rose to prominence as a defender of Indian Territory, which is now Oklahoma, according to History.com. The Cherokee, Seminole, Creek, Choctaw, and Chickasaw Native American tribes governed the region during this time. Bass became the first black deputy U.S. Marshal west of the Mississippi when he accepted the job offer. According to reports, he detained over 3,000 people and killed 14, all while remaining unharmed. He is also supposed to have been the inspiration for the fictional figure Lone Ranger. As as the first black deputy U.S. Marshal west of the Mississippi River, Reeves' story is monumental, and this limited series will bring to light one of the greatest frontier heroes in our country's history, said Chris McCarthy, president and CEO of the MTV Entertainment Group, in September 2021, per deadline. We can't wait to give audiences an exclusive look into his strength, perseverance, and absolutely remarkable story, added David Glasser, CEO of 101 Studios. We have to ask, will we be seeing Tim McGraw as well as the cast of 1883 in this spinoff. 
It's difficult to determine whether David Oyelowo's bass will meet Tim McGraw's James Dutton. Elsa said that she was born in the year 1883 and turned 17 while traveling to Montana, according to the timetable. In other words, James, Margaret, played by Faith Hill, and Elsa made the journey up north in 1900. Meanwhile, Bass worked as a deputy marshal before retiring in 1909. There is always a chance, though. At the present, David is the only member of the cast of 1883, the Bass Reeves story, who has been announced. In an Instagram video, Taylor said that as far as Bass Reeves goes, that is a parallel world with 1883. He also explained that while he's casting, he looks for great performers of our day, which is exactly what David Oyelowo is, even calling him a once-in-a-generation talent. You might be left wondering what to do after finishing all of Yellowstone's episodes and spinoffs, but fret not, here are some shows to watch while waiting for the series' return. Try watching Lonesome Dove. Taylor Sheridan's version of Lonesome Dove is 1883. In an interview with the New York Times, Sheridan stated as much, citing the 1989 limited series as a significant influence. And Lonesome Dove is an excellent cultural example to follow, as it was a major ratings hit that resurrected the TV western genre and is now considered a high watermark of 1980s television. The epic four-part limited series, based on a Pulitzer-winning novel by Larry McMurdy, chronicles a cattle drive from Texas to Montana, led by former Army Rangers Gus McRae, played by Robert Duvall, and Woodrow Call, played by Tommy Lee Jones, who decided to leave their dusty border hamlet for a fresh adventure. From its plot, to its characters, to the way it's shot, 1883 owes a tribute to Lonesome Dove in every aspect. It's what Lonesome Dove would have been if profanity and bloodshed had been allowed. They're both romantic yet realistic portrayals of life in the Old West. If you're looking for a grittier series, try watching Hatfields and McCoys. Kevin Costner dabbled on television before becoming John Dutton with Hatfields and McCoys, for which he won an Emmy for Best Lead Actor in a Miniseries or Movie. The successful three-episode limited series, which premiered on History in 2012, chronicles the infamous war between the Hatfields and the McCoys, two notable pioneer families in the 1800s Appalachia. Bill Paxton plays McCoy chieftain Randall McCoy and Kevin Costner as Devil Ansi Hatfield, the patriarch of the more prosperous of the two feuding clans. Tom Berenger, who also won an Emmy for his role, plays Hatfield's uncle Jim Vance, the man accused of sparking the rivalry by assassinating Asa Harmon McCoy. Hatfields and McCoys is a violent period drama similar to 1883 with a thematically rich western exquisite detail. Last but not least, give Deadwood a shot. Deadwood, without a doubt, the greatest western series ever made and a hidden contender for the greatest TV drama ever created, aired on HBO for three seasons, from 2004 to 2006, and was wrapped up in a satisfying, long-awaited film in 2019. David Milch, the show's visionary creator, penned Shakespearean, unbelievably obscene dialogue about how society may be built and sustained. The show follows the growth of the titular Gold Rush town in the 1870s and how characters like Al Swearingen, played by Ian McShane, a ruthless saloon owner, and Seth Bullock, played by Timothy Oliphant, a well-meaning but temperamental sheriff, transform the town from a lawless frontier outpost to part of America, with all the blood, ingenuity, and complexity that entails. It's a tough watch that demands your complete attention, but it's also tremendously rewarding, including some of the most completely formed characters in television history. Deadwood is a must-see for fans of 1883's ambition. With that, we're wrapping up today's video with all the details you need to know about 1883 Season 2. Are you already looking forward to Bass Reeves' story? Let us know in the comment section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these, and we'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching.